What's going on, boys? Datmod's here today. And uh, we are going to be talking about cards in Lost Ark. You probably started obtaining these early on through your story, and you're wondering what the heck they are. Uh, this is like what the little booklets are. You know, they, they'll look like that, or you'll just get like an individual card. And then there's also these experience things. Okay, so where do you get your cards from? They basically drop from almost everything in the game. Abyssal Dungeons, Adventure Islands, Achievements, Cooperative Sea Mission, Guardian Raids. You can buy them from Mary's Shop. There's like rapport stuff. There's traveling merchants. There's story quests. And there's also uh, merchants on a weekly reset where you can buy cards. Uh, weekly reset merchants for cards. It's like a uh, pay to... Right, it's on floor three and it's called luck card, right? So floor three, pay two, you go over there. You buy like seven cards a week from this merchant uh, and it could range all the way up into legendary, right? It costs 2000 power coins each. And then you can also get uh, some more cards on this island over here, right? It's called the Cradle of the Sea Fermata. You click on it and you can go up to floor three and same exact thing, there's a luck guy. You can buy seven more cards there for 2,000 gold to pop, right? So basically 20,000 uh, 20, power coins. I think I said gold. 20,000 power coins a week to get a bunch of free cards. Anyways, uh, the card system in Lost Ark is not, it, it's something that's gonna be, uh, that you're gonna build up over a period of time, right? It's an investment thing. You will constantly be doing this and you'll constantly be trying to get more power. Uh, so anyways, why are you using cards? Well. Cards provide different effects for your character, right? So you open up a little card window. Uh, these are your different cards, right? And if you hover over the C effect details, it'll tell you the little bonuses. Um, and you're wondering like what card sets are good? Well, it all depends on the class you're playing, but uh, usually one of the best starter card decks for almost every class is the Lost Wind Cliff. Uh, it gives you like some dark damage reduction. It also gives you critical strike chance if you get awakening stuff. Um, so like, yeah, this is basically a little card window. This goes about your books, right? And then later on, way, way later on in the game, I wouldn't even worry about right now, you'll, you'll be stacking demon damage. So this is like your little card stuff, right? Uh, and then if uh, you want to like select your card to put them on, this is like where you uh, put your cards, like on your character, right? And you can have like multiple decks and whatnot. Uh, so anyways, uh, oh, I can spend 500 gold to expand this. Yeah, so if I want to like build my card deck, what you do is like you just drag them over here. That's all you do. Right, I'm missing like one card. I'm still trying to get Carmine. If you're ever wondering where you get any card in the game, you just go to this little codex. Right? And you just type it in the codex and it'll tell you their location. So you know how I said... Do Abyss Dungeons. Carmine comes from Abyss Dungeons and from this achievement over here. So that is how you get your cards. Uh, so anyway, this is your card catalog. This is basically where your cards are. And then like you, this is how you kind of like assemble your decks, right? If you want to assemble your deck, you just drag them over here real quickly. And you click save. And then if you want to like put that new card deck on, you just like go over to your character, right? And you could like equip that one or that one or that one, right? So those are your presets for your cards. Um, and like I said, like uh, pretty much if you're following like a guide, usually the guide will tell you like what card to use. But now the important stuff about the cards. So you have this little thing, this is your enhanced tab. This is also where your cards are stored. If you're playing the game and you don't know too much about cards, you might try to learn your card. They might say your card deck is full. Okay, how do you get more card space? Well, you just go to this little enhanced tab in the card catalog, right? And you could literally just buy it with crystals, right? You can just buy it. I'm just swiping right now. And this will increase your storage capacity. If you don't have crystals, how can you get more crystals? You can earn gold in a bunch of different ways. And then you can go to your store, right? And then you can do currency conversion. And it's, the, these rates will be different for everybody. But basically, you can exchange gold for crystals. And this will allow you to buy storage space without paying any real life money at all. Uh, or you could just spend real life money and then you do crystal transfer to buy those. Okay. 
that is basically uh, how you get more storage. The alternate solution to like transferring gold into the crystals is you can just put your cards into your storage tab, right? So I have like these cards here and I have these experience things, right? You can just put them there and you can make an alt character and each alt had like their own personal storage space. So you put it into your roster storage and then you go on your alt and then you can store your cards on your alt's storage, personal storage. Right, and that could save a bunch of, uh, save you some money, some gold or crystals. So they're the solution for free to play players. Uh, next thing, enhancing. So if you notice uh, at the bottom here, like each card has like a little notch. Then also, um, right, they have a little notch. And then also some of the cards have this little symbol. And you're like, what the heck is this symbol? Anyways, if you go into your card, right? You notice I have plus one. This is like your base card. If you juice this up, it's almost like gear honing. And you don't want to do this for every card because your resources are limited. So you just don't want to level up every single card or enhance it, awaken it. So if you put the experience in there and you have some shilling costs, here's your card experience at the top over here, right? And how do you get card experience? You get these little creation fragments. You could learn all these at once. Because if you'll notice, you literally have almost 1 billion experience storage. I've never seen anyone that's overcapped on card experience. Um, this might be like a challenge to somebody, but you could basically learn all these experience cards and it'll store your experience for leveling your cards. Uh, literally, don't be afraid to learn those books, right? And there's like different tiers of the books and you get the card experience from the activities that we talked about earlier in the video. So there is like your experience, right? Uh, so anyways, uh, let's say uh, I want to enhance something now. So we're, we, we're just going to enhance this, right? So uh, it costs a certain amount of experience and costs some shillings. We, there's our stored uh, card enhancement points over there. We're just going to enhance this. Right now our card can be awakened. What does awakening do? Awakening gives your cards that you're using enhanced bonuses. So we can awaken this and it'll go to awaken level one. Now it has one notch filled. Okay, so what you basically need to do for your card collection, this is a long-term investment. You need to get one card, right? And then you need to get 15 more cards. So it's not just five cards. Because every single time you awaken your card, right? This takes one additional card. This takes two additional cards. This takes three additional cards. This takes four additional cards. And this takes five additional cards. So you need your base card and you need 15 duplicates of that card. So 16 co total cards to fully awaken your cards. And the experience is pretty full, right? So this is pretty much what you're gonna do. Like I said, you don't want to just awaken every card. Be strategic about it because you have limited resources, right? I have a lot of duplicates for a lot of stuff, but I'm not using it. Why did I use it on a lane? I kind of just wanted to show you guys how to do it. Uh, so anyways, pretty much what I'm focusing on right now is my Lost Winds Cliff set, right? So. Uh, you know, I, I'm still missing Carmine. I have to get Carmine. And then I'm trying to awaken uh, my cards to level 12 so I get the 7% increased crit stripe bonus. But currently we got like two, right? And then we got one, and then we got one. And we talked about uh, in the beginning traveling merchants. Uh, and I actually have a traveling merchant right here. So like the, this card deck is nice because this card specifically, you could acquire this multiple times a day. That's called the Soraya card, right? You could just go to this guy, this little traveling merchant, you pay some shillings and you get the card. Uh, there's like discords and stuff and there's people in game that communicate, but it'll spawn, basically this traveling merchant spawns on a timer in East Lutera somewhere. So uh, you can acquire these cards uh, pretty easily. Uh, we also got like some more like decks. So I'm just gonna open it up. Let's see if we get lucky. Uh, there is waiting for every card, so getting legendary cards is like pretty rare. But this is how like you get your cards. You get them uh, from the drops or whatever. We're just gonna open these up. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything good though. this i got a thunder wings i already have all these right i'm just getting duplicates right now so anyway that's basically the card system in a nutshell 
Um, it's pretty simplistic. It's uh, one of your long-term goals in the game, so don't rush it. Uh, just be careful at how you spend your card experience. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and good luck to everybody. Bye.